Hello, I'm Tony Graff. I'm trying something new for my blog post, so if you like it, let me find out. Let me know. You can post a comment on the website, like it on YouTube, share it with all your friends, let us know what's going on. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I've got my first novel being re-released, coming up either this month, beginning of next month, we'll find out soon. Um, long story short, I had a publisher, there were some miscommunications, there was some stuff that didn't quite work out, but I'm with a new publisher. We'll have Juniper Crafting coming out soon. Plus, we've also got a contract for the sequel, Hollow Terrace, to come out. Um, so, the biggest piece of advice I've gotten from all the authors I've had the chance to talk to and not merely rummage through their frequently asked questions page was read a lot. Read, read, read. Read everything you can. So, um, it, that's the easiest thing for me to do anyway. I do it. That's the reason I got into writing was because I read so much. And you know, my favorite thing to read are fairy tales. Now, some of you are going to be like my older brother and go gay um, for a guy that likes fairy tales. Because um, most of the time when people hear the word fairy tale, they think of Tinkerbell, they think of Ariel, they think of all these happy stories where no matter what's going on in their lives, the character can literally sing and dance their way through to a happy ending. Um, but those aren't the fairy tales I'm talking about. Um, that's, that's kind of the bastardization of fairy tales brought to us by Disney. Um, the fairy tales I'm talking about are the classics, Hans Christian Andersen, The Brothers Grimm. Fairy tales where that was a way to connect with people the necessity of why we have these social rules and these little things that we say and do. Um, simply put, it was there to teach us why there's reasons we listen to our parents. There's reasons why we do these things, especially towards children, which is where that original demographic was. Um for example, the Little Mermaid. We're singing, we're dancing as well as we can with fins instead of legs. And the whole story is that a girl defies her parents to get whatever she wants. And in the end, gets whatever she wants. And that didn't happen in the original. Um, in the original, she defied her parents trying to get what she wants. She ended up losing it. And out of kindness... The best thing that the king could do was turn her into sea foam. And that was at the pleading of all his sisters. And the moral was, your parents actually know what they're talking about, which is a lesson we don't learn in modern society anymore. We've gone from the area of parents know best, there was even a TV show called Fathers Knows Best, down to Father Knows Nothing. You have the common sitcom portrayal of the dad who's literally clueless except for everything about his wife's breast. Um, and I don't know about many of the people here, but my dad was great. He was a man I really and dearly respected. Um, so the fairy tales were originally meant to scare us. There was a darker side about it, and we're starting to see some of that come back. We've got shows like Once Upon a Time, um, Grimm, and there are a lot of books that follow that trend as well. Uh, the Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare is a great example of this. She takes this this common idea of fairy tales and a realm that we can't see and takes a very dark and gritty texture to it, which is, in fact, what fairy tales are and were and should be. Um, Fable Haven by Brandon Mull is a great example of this. There's a scene for the... I'm going to spoil it for you. There's a scene where this kid unknowingly breaks fairy law so all these fairies are justified in cursing him. And before anyone can stop what's going on, he's so hex he doesn't even look human. And they're justified in doing so, so they did. That's a fairy tale. There's a reason you don't screw with things. Um, but my personal favorite, as far as understanding this whole fairy tale world, is The Hunter's Moon by O.R. Melling. Um, it's a series of four books called the Chronicles of Fae. This is such an enchanting book, like really bewitching. You're literally taken to Ireland. You're seeing the way things were when people believed in fairies. 
and there's a reality to it. There's a depth of it. There's something spooky, but also also something really timeless about it that there's no way to let it become a fad like vampires and unfortunately even steampunk's becoming a fad nowadays. And even a webcomic um, by Garth Graham called Finders Keepers. Great example of true fairy tales. Great example. So if you're looking around wondering for something to read, there's a great big world of books out there. I start with something like The Mortal Instruments, The City of Bones, City of Ash, City of Broken Dreams. I think that's what it's called. Um, there's actually a movie coming out on City of Bones. Looks to be well portrayed, but I like most movies based on a book, I'm hesitant. Go ahead and find these books. They're going to be easy to spot. Or find other books out there. I haven't listed them all. These are just ones that I know and love. Um, if you like this post, let me know. I'm gonna. I'm planning on making more. Uh, like, visit me on TonyGraph.com. Find Juniper Crescent on Facebook, and keep reading. That's the best thing out there right now.